Hey everyone, two blockbuster games await us today, Spain vs Germany and Portugal vs France. Share your predictions in the comments down below, and while you're typing, we better to start. Let's get the show on a pitch. We are well prepared and confident that we will play a good game against Spain, Julian Nagelsmann claimed. Midfielder Tengai Ndombele has joined OGC Nice. The move has been completed on a free agent basis. The player's last club was Tottenham Hotspur, whom he left in June. The news published by the German publication Bild about the two-match suspension of Turkey national team defender Mirich Demiral does not reflect the truth, the Turkey Football Federation claimed. Jude Bellingham is fined 20,000 euros by UEFA for the lewd gesture he made after scoring his dramatic equalizer against Slovakia. Ethan Mbappe has become a new Lille player. The midfielder joined the Mastiffs as a free agent with his contract lasting until the summer of 2027. Sergio Gomez moves to Real Sociedad from Manchester City. The defender's transfer fee is worth 9 million euros, on top of which the citizens will have a 15% sell-on clause. The freshness Ronaldo brings is surprising. He's an example, someone who wants to win every day. He wants to compete every day. When you've got a player that committed, forget about what he's done in the past. It's a privilege, Roberto Martinez said. Juventus consider Wojciech of Chesney's time at the club over. The White and Blacks are looking for options to pursue their goalkeeper's career. Alberto Moreno has left Villarreal. His contract has expired. We have a defensive solidity, which is crucial in these competitions. We have also controlled games better than we have before and better than our opponents. Didier Deschamps thinks. Peter Federico is now a Hitafe footballer. The winger joined Los Asalones from Real Madrid on a permanent deal, with the contract running for five years. Los Blancos have reportedly received 2.5 million euros for the player's services. Nottingham Forest centre-back Moussa Niakate has signed a four-year deal with Lyon. The transfer fee amounted to £27 million. We cannot leave our country in the hands of these people. It's really urgent. We saw the results of the first round. It's catastrophic. We really hope that it will change and that everyone will mobilize to vote and vote for the right side," Mbappe said. AC Milan are interested in RB Salzburg centre-back Strahinia Pavlovic, who is valued at around 20 to 25 million euros. Frankie de Jong could miss the start of Barcelona's preseason schedule due to ankle problems. Porto has opened talks with Real Betis over the transfer of 30-year-old goalkeeper Rui Silva. Porto believe they will sell Diego Costa for a huge price after the Euros and thus they want to replace him with Silva. Brighton and Hove Albion have agreed a deal to sign Netherlands defensive midfielder Mats Weaver from Feyenoord for 30 million euros plus add-ons. Barcelona officials were surprised to hear that Jaden Filagin has been linked to the team. It's just that his agent decided to have a photo shoot in a car park outside the club's offices. Security kicked him out later on. Atalanta center back Caleb Akoli will join Leicester City for a transfer fee of 15 million euros. Aston Villa have entered the race for Joao Felix, with Emery confident in his ability to get the best version of the player. The transfer fee may even outbid Benfica and Barcelona. West Ham United have agreed a deal to sign centre-back Max Kilman from Wolverhampton Wanderers for £40 million. Girona have made an offer for Valencia midfielder Javi Guerra. The Catalans offered €15 million Euros for the transfer of the young gem, but were rejected as Valencia want more. Former Adana Demir Sport defender Yusuf Atal is closing in on a move to Olympique Marseille as a free agent. Mallorca have increased their contract offer to Mats Hummels as they look to sign him on a free transfer from Borussia Dortmund. Mallorca are battling against Bayer Leverkusen, AS Roma and Sevilla, who are also interested in Hummels. Christopher Vivel has been appointed as Manchester United's director of recruitment. The club offered him a short-term contract for him to help the Red Devils in the summer transfer window. His appointment is temporary, but there is a possibility that he could become a permanent employee of the club. Atletico Madrid's idea is to keep both Samuel Omarodion and Carlos Martinez in the first team for next season. The Indians want to give them a chance after their brilliant loan spells at Deportivo Alaves and C.D. Mirandes respectively. 
Stuttgart defender Waldemar Anton and striker Seru Gerasi will leave the team in the summer offseason, according to the club's sporting director Fabian Valgemuth. Atletico Madrid have offered 24 million euros plus bonuses for David Hansko. Feyenoord still want 35 million euros for the centre back. The clubs have planned a near round of talks. The Slovakia international has already said yes to Madrid. Arsenal have announced the signing of a permanent deal with goalkeeper David Raya. Earlier on, insider Fabrizio Romano claimed that Arsenal would activate the buy option, which will amount to 27 million pounds. Valencia star striker Uga Duro has extended his contract with the club. The new agreement is valid until June 30, 2028. Yale Ten Riabula will be appointed as Manchester United's goalkeeping coach. He will replace Richard Hardis, who has been working in his post since 2019. Eric Ten Hag believes that it's time for a new approach to goalkeeping training to fit his ideology. Serie A has presented the 2024-25 season calendar, with the first week kicking off on the weekend of August 18th. Portugal will play against a team that was the world champion six years ago and which was in the final of another World Cup 18 months ago, Bernardo Silva noted. With two trophies in the past two seasons, Eric Den Haag has reinforced his record as one of the most consistently successful coaches in Europe football stated Manchester United Sporting Director Dan Ashworth. How do we stop Kroos? We have thought about tying his feet, but I'm not sure if UEFA will let us. Kroos is a super class player, and it's a shame that he's leaving football because, as a fan, I would like to keep watching him play," Luis de la Fuente shared. Guys, it's time to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Alright, we are moving on to the main news of the release. The Argentine national team managed to outclass Ecuador in a tough encounter and reach the Copa America semifinals. The normal time ended with a score of 1-1. The nominal guests responded to Lisandro Martinez's header with a strike from Kevin Rodriguez in the 92nd minute. During the penalty shootout, Lalbi Celeste used their trump card, Emiliano Martinez. Basically, the goalkeeper won the tie from Messi, who hit the crossbar. Alvaro Morata could still leave Atletico. AC Milan are trying to secure the services of the striker, who has a release clause worth 13 million euros. The Italian side is negotiating with the footballer's agent, who were willing to pay the amount of the said release clause. Morata is asking for a contract until 2027 with an option to extend until 2028, with a salary of 5 million euros per year. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who works as a senior advisor to the owners of Milan, personally urges Morata to join Rossoneri. This summer, Nico Williams will either pen a contract with Barcelona or stay at Athletic Bilbao for one more season, according to Sport S. For Deco, Nico Williams is not a priority to reinforce the left wing position, but Juan Laporta is clear that he is the chosen one. Meanwhile, journalist Santiago Valle adds that Ravinha, De Young, and Araujo are players Barca could sell to sign Nico Williams. Portugal forward Cristiano Ronaldo wants to become the first player in history to feature in six World Cups, Relevo reports. According to the source, the 39-year-old Portuguese intends to perform at the 2026 World Cup, which will be held in Canada, the US, and Mexico. Ahead of the Euro 2024 quarterfinal clash against Portugal, France forward Kylian Mbappe called the navigators forward Cristiano Ronaldo a legend. It's an honor to play against him. Everyone knows the admiration I have for him. We are always in touch. He will remain a legend of the game, but we hope to beat him tomorrow. You have to know how to appreciate what he is and what he has been. He is a unique player. His CV speaks for itself. We have respect for him. I just want to follow my passage. I hope that I will write a big page at Real Madrid, but it'll be different to his," Mbappe said. Arsenal have started official talks with Bologna over Riccardo Calafiori's move. Personal conditions will not be a problem. The defender is open to a transfer. The first official contact has been made. After receiving a yes from Calafiori, Arsenal are stepping up to act quickly in the face of competition from Chelsea. Arsenal are currently ahead, while the Blues have not made an offer. Folks, choose any of the videos from the list below. Have a good time watching. The Football News Channel was with you. Bye-bye.